Welcome to a brand new podcast. And then, once again, this is the Oracle 19. And my name is Greatness. And again, guys, thank you for your continued supporting the machine and passing the word about the podcast. And continue passing the word to the, your family, friends, and foe. Posting on your social media platforms. Uh, I want to let this... I want this podcast to continue to become more worldwide and gain more followers as you expect. We're on all major platforms. Anchor.fm, Google, iTunes, Spotify, Apple, just to name a few. Uh, Information you can find in our description box of the Oracle 19 podcast. So like, subscribe, share. And also, you can shop online to our baby shopping mall, which is www.evolutionoflondon.com. So once again, that's www.evolutionoflondon.com. We have paintings, jewelry, a lot of fall collections for your everyday needs, and also presents, uh, gifts that you can give to your significant other. So check out the website. And also, www.evolutionoflondon.org. Once again, that's www.evolutionoflondon.org, O-R-G. There is our custom clothing, accessories, and digital products that we have on the platform as well. So, check that out. And also, we have different links to our uh, other different accessories and uh, products, I should say, merchandise. So you could check out www.linktree.com forward slash evolution of London. So that's link uh, www.linktree.com forward slash evolution of London. Also, we our Patreon channel, which is www.patreon.com forward slash evolution of London. There we have uh, different tiers of of if you want to uh, put your brand on our uh, Patreon t- channel, we have a uh, tier for that information. If you need consultation, we have a tier for that. And also check out our videos uh, that is now on YouTube, so you can uh, check that out as well. It's different tiers that is on our Patreon channel, which is the price is different, uh, vary with the tier that you you will see. So check that out as well. Music by Cheap Limousine Channel. So Cheap Limousine is on YouTube, and you can check him out on YouTube. And we have a wide range of beats. So like, subscribe, share to our Cheap Limousine Channel. And speaking about YouTube, again, it's Greatness 19. Greatness 19 channel. Like, subscribe, share for that channel as well. We have a lot of educational videos to open up the third eye. So definitely pass that information along and subscribe to the channel. And also our health and wellness channel, which is Mr. Evolution of London. There we have videos on health and wellness. You will see it, the link in the Greatness 19 channel under channels. So you, uh, that's a quick link to find Mr. Evolution of London. So definitely support those channels. Mr. Will is a fitness consultant for over 15 years, so definitely check out his uh, platform as well. And if you have any questions or fitness uh, concerns, I should say, or want to book a consultation, you email him at williesfitness99 at gmail.com. So that's Willie's, W-I-L-L, 
YZ Fitness 99 at gmail.com. And also, he have merchandise, so www.wjaaccessories.com. Uh, so, you have different merchandise that you definitely will want for the fall. So, that, again, that's www.wjaaccessories.com. And any uh, business uh, inquiries, or so you want to sponsor, uh, put your brand on this platform. Evolution of London at gmail.com. So that's evolution of London at gmail.com. If you want to, uh, if you have any business concerns or questions, or if you want to put your brand on the podcast once again. And any questions, concerns, same email, evolution of London at gmail.com. So definitely like, subscribe, and share with all the major platforms that we have. Again, that's very important because we're trying to grow. And also, free will offerings is uh, definitely uh, through our PayPal, evolutionoflondon at gmail.com, same email. You can send me a free will offering or check the link for our GoFundMe page. Uh, so, definitely uh, show love. You know, we definitely be looking forward to your support. Today's show, we're going to talk about. Thanksgiving and how is really a pagan holiday and a little bit of the history of Thanksgiving of uh, I should say Thanksgiving in America because in, again Thanksgiving throughout the world is practiced in different months and times and days so forth so but here in America I'll give you a little history of it. Thanksgiving and, and how I give you my perspective of it being a pagan holiday. Now, again, a lot of people, you know, dating back to the 1621 and the Plymouth uh, co- uh, colonialists, basically the white man, white woman, landing in Massachusetts. And then meeting up with the natives of that location. I'm giving you just the plain terms. And the, the local Indians, the natives of the land, helped them grow crops in that area, that region, and help make it better for them to survive in that region. Now, what the white man did, we know the story, is basically as he started bringing in more of his brethren to the land, and diseases came with it. Natives got sick. Also, he caused controversy with other tribes. And I'm giving you the short form. And eventually... He took over the land, took over the country, yada, yada, yada. And basically in 1863, Abraham Lincoln, during the Civil War, basically made it official that Thanksgiving Day would be a national holiday. Now... Again, that's the short form. And then continuing to this day and time, Thanksgiving is is practice with the home cooked turkey and the stuffing and the cranberry, the cranberries and yada yada yada. And then we sit in front of the TV watch some sports, continue eating our turkey, and being thankful for a day of rest. That's our Thanksgiving in a nutshell. And if you go in history, your Greeks, Egyptians, Romans practice their own different Thanksgiving celebrating their gods. 
Again, Thanksgiving worldwide is practiced differently, but we focus in today on the Thanksgiving in America and how it was shaped. And I just gave you the, the quick, brief synopsis of the Thanksgiving. But the question you have to ask yourself, why are you practicing Thanksgiving? What is the point of celebrating Thanksgiving? Why? Yes, I'm saying it. Why? Why? We could all agree is a man-made holiday. It's nothing spiritual about Thanksgiving. There's no, nothing really, there's nothing for, in the Bible that, or any scriptures, Torah or Quran, that say that we, that Thanksgiving is a national holiday that we have to celebrate. Celebrate to who? Are we celebrating it to the Most High? First of all, Thanksgiving, why, why have to be eating turkey basically the last, almost the last Thursday of the month of November? For what? What are we getting out of it for eat, have to buy a turkey, spending $20, $30, $40 for one big turkey on that day? What's the point? Why are we following it? What are we getting out of it? Now, people will say it's a day of rest, get a day off. Well, can't you take a day off in July on a Thursday? Or February? How about March? Can't you conjure up your own Thanksgiving day of rest in May? How about in October? No, August. Okay, January. Why it have to be specifically November 25th, 24th, 23rd? Because every year it falls a little differently because of the shift of dates. Like this year, you say Thursday the 25th, but next year or the year after might shift to the 24th or the 23rd. I mean... It does, it's different. But it is on that Thursday. Usually the last Thursday. Or the next to last Thursday of the month of November. Or I would say that third, third Thursday. That third week, usually. Because in this year... The, the last of the month is the 30th and that's on the Tuesday and then December hit and December 2nd is like on the Thursday so again every year the days shift but you get you know what I mean this is the it's a pagan day okay we can agree to that man made there's no spiritual value you getting out of this it's the same thing with Halloween and, and Valentine's Day and Easter, pagan holidays. You know, you guys got to learn to think outside the box and stop playing follow the leader. And that's the same thing with Christmas. Why you have to celebrate that day? Why... Gift giving has to be on that particular day. Why you can't celebrate that in March, June? The same principle. I talk about, I'm going to say the same principle of Christmas, but piggybacking back to Halloween. Thanksgiving haven't been, I mean, should black folks really be thankful that Thanksgiving? Should we be all happy? Now, there would be people that say, well, you know, in the past is the past, but okay, let's talk present present here. Black people is getting abused and ostracized and physically kicked, mentally kicked. We're going through hell right now. 
So what the hell I need to be happy all for Thanksgiving? When I tell me, you can email me, tell me what the freak I have to be happy and satisfied Thanksgiving. What I need to be thankful for. Tell me. Now, some people, especially white folks, would say, well, you know, you don't like to see get out of America. You can leave America. You don't like it. You move. Not if you move first. How about that? If you move, I move. Because if we want to be technical, the natives, Native American Indians was screwed. And your original Native Indians were dark brown to caramel black people. They only just got lightened with the mix of white society. That's fact. You know, the original Native American Indians wasn't just half white looking Indians, dark to light brown mid-range caramel complexion they were just black people with different strands of hair but I won't get too deep with that but I mean that's factual because even my bloodline my personal bloodline native Cherokee Indians Seminole and they was and I have pictures of my grandmother I mean, caramel complexion, dark brown. I got, I go back a couple of generations, quite a few. I go back about six, seven generations. And even, you know, with my family book, family history book. And that's not only in my family, a lot of black Americans have Indian in them and not the Indians is not just red to white looking Indians. Our great grandmothers and great grandfathers and six, seven generations. If you're lucky you see pictures of them four generations, five I have pictures of relatives of mine that goes back four or five generations. And then I the history of the I was blessed with history of knowing about family members that goes back six, seven, eight generations where they was located and who they was. And a lot of them was Cherokee Indians and they was dark skin. But again, I know I went off a little bit on a tangent, but bring it back to celebrating Thanksgiving. And in my opinion, Propaganda, it's a waste. What should we be thankful for? And definitely the natives and the and black people is one of the same. What they should be grateful for. I mean, for the Native American Indians, they've been stripped of their land, destroyed, given alcohol, diseases, and then put on plantations which they call reservations little boxes of land in comparison to the whole United States was theirs. What they should be grateful for. What should be what why should they be thankful? Why should the black people be thankful? And we and we don't even have to go with the past because that's the first thing white society will talk about. Past. Don't we live in, don't you got good you you good now? You could go to work, you can integrate. Okay, thank you. Thank you that you don't beat our behinds outright. Thank you that you don't rape, rape and rob us outright like you did in the 1960s and hosing us down. Thank you. But if I still walk in driving my car 
at night and the car is fancy, I still can get pulled over in 2021 and 2022 and so forth. I guess Merry Christmas for me. And I can still get out my car and, and he's, they still could get me out the car and physically abuse me, which I've been through that before. I should be thankful. And then I'm still rated within society as scum of the earth, as a savage. By the way, thank you for that too. I should be thankful as well. Given that opportunity to be called a savage in 2021, 2022. So I should be thankful. Instead of being called the N-word, I be, I'm called the degenerate or the lowest of low. So just because you don't use the N-word and maybe call me a degenerate of a man, the scum of the earth, I should be thankful as well. So, thank you. I appreciate that. And, and like I said, consider the worst man on the face of this earth in society. He's the scum of the earth on all levels, education. He's treated as a savage, and he's considered a savage within society. I should be thankful as well. So, thank you. So I guess all of these things should make me happy and celebrate Thanksgiving. And also my Native American brethren should be also thankful as well. So we thank you. And we're grateful, right? See, so maybe white society, you white people, you could be grateful. You could be thankful. You could be real happy because when you stole the land and hijacked the land and manipulated the people on the land, you're on top of the food chain right now, for now. So Thanksgiving is your day. Abraham Lincoln made it, made it possible. He made it official and it carried over to now. That's why you have parades, Thanksgiving Day Parade, big turkeys, and then family there, and everybody can smile and be happy because you, for now you're on top of the food chain. If the shoe was on the other foot, I guess I'd be happy too. But no, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. And I don't think people should be all, especially black, you black people and Native Americans. There's nothing to be happy about celebrating Thanksgiving. Just another pagan day. You just, the only thing you should be happy on a basic level that you able just to rest and to be around a few family, friends, or fold if you're lucky until you gotta work the next day. And in the blink of the eye, Thursday becomes a Friday. And the Friday becomes next week. That's my perspective. The choice is yours. How much money you gonna spend, how many people you have at your house, and how you feel about your Thanksgiving, your pagan day. God bless you. Thank you for listening. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 